So to begin this problem, what you want to do is transform this into its characteristic equation. This will help you find the roots. And finding the roots is important because it gives us three different cases where we can find a general solution to the second order differential equation. So to form the characteristic equation, you look at the power of the derivative. So this one is 2 and this one is 0. So what you have is r squared minus r to the power of 0 equals to 0. And this is r squared minus 1 equals to 0. And if you rearrange this, you have r squared equals to 1. And if you solve this equation, you have r equals to plus minus square root of 1, which is just plus minus 1. So from over here, you can see that we have two distinct roots, 1 and negative 1, which gives us this scenario over here. Therefore, the general solution is y equals to c1 e to the power of our first root, so 1, x plus c2 e to the second root, so negative 1x. And if you simplify this down, you have y equals to c1 e to the power of x plus c2 on e to the x. And this is your answer.